Conference Center and Warner are having a very important, uh, first of all, it is a series by Conference Center. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. So is Alpha dead? No, Alpha's not dead. Can't be dead. Um, it gets harder, and then it gets easier. You know, as a matter of fact, the regulation uh, that came about post-2008, right, Dodd-Frank here, and all the old regulation in Europe, has gotten most of the banks to shed lots of their risk-taking activities. First, their proprietary activities, and even their, their market-making activities are very curtailed. And that creates much bigger, A, it creates people that were very good at taking money out of, out of markets, creates bigger opportunities as the markets get less efficient. And so you're seeing this migration of talent uh, and market making, in essence, from the banking space into the hedge fund space. And even with that, if you look at banks' earnings right now and their trading businesses are at record levels. Right. And so there's a tremendous amount of opportunities uh, to take money out of the markets. But you did say it's gotten harder in some ways. Just I think it's gotten harder because I've gotten older. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, this has always been a tough business. Yeah. Uh, there are sh smart people that are driven to it. Uh, i tell you a funny story. When I started at Goldman Sachs in 1989, I had lunch with Bob Rubin. Uh, they mm -hmm. picked two young analysts to have lunch with the, the big boss. In 1989, Japan was dominating the world. And the prime minister at the time uh, had made a comment, the Japanese prime minister, that, well, the U.S., too much of its talent goes to Wall Street, and if they had a focused a little more on engineering and had their guys do engineering, maybe they could keep up with Japan. And that was the, you know, the Japanese decade and right before their crash. And uh, I asked Ruben, I said, well, would you agree with him or not? He said, well, you know what? We draw a lot of talent to Wall Street, and maybe it's disproportionate because the, the pay is so high. Mm. And, uh, he said, you know, at one point it's going to reach an equilibrium and then people won't go. They'll go to other fields. And that, you know, that probably won't be so far in the future. Well, I think his thesis was right and his timing was dead wrong. A few decades too early. Well, what Bob missed then is that as the fall of the Berlin Wall happened right in 1989 and, you know, Tiananmen Square in China and the world transmorphed, right? We had this unbelievable uh, uh, change. Where we call it globalization, mm -hmm. where the, the act of trading world, 600 million people that participated in the global economy goes to two and a half, three, tr two, three billion. The commerce that started from all that, you know, buying and selling uh, goods, moving money, uh, all had to go through the same, you know, arteries. Mm -hmm. Well, the U.S. and Europe, U.S. and London, really, New York and London, really, were really only the two centers of expertise, and so you had it. You had an industry that felt a little out of equilibrium in 1989, and then it exploded in size and complexity. Mm -hmm. And so the, the hedge fund industry, of course, grew up around London and New York, mm -hmm. because that's where the talent was. You had J.P. Morgan and Barings Bank and Goldman Sachs training up people to understand risk and understand markets. And I think as the globe continues to develop, uh, these two big centers and the hedge fund industry could, will continue to be at the core of it. Um, it's a long way before China will have a financial services industry that could compete with, with London or New York. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember being in Dubai and saying, this is great, and in time you'll have a financial services industry. But that's, that's three to four generations. Mm -hmm. you know, they don't have the, it's like us trying to get a great soccer program, but we didn't have the coaches and the culture. And so the risk-taking culture, the, the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the knowledge, the training, uh, still a huge advantage here. And as the world keeps growing, the markets keep growing, uh, and that's why the opportunity set keeps growing. Your real long-term alpha is, does your team, your collection of information and the way you process it through your brain, and as it, as it crosses with that intuition, you know, win more than it loses.